The air pulse is a pneumatic propulsion tool for the insertion and removal of the unreamed femur and tibia nails. It guarantees standardized, gentle, and easy insertion and extraction of the UFN and the UTN. Part A, the air pulse used with the UFN. The medullary canal is opened as usual. First, the guide wire is applied exactly in the fossa piriformis and inserted as far as the proximal medullary canal. The positioning of the wire must be monitored by means of image intensifier control in two planes. After the guide wire has been placed correctly, the medullary canal is opened with the appropriate instrument. The special driving cap is used to connect the air pulse to the insertion handle taken from the UFN instrument set. The UFN is then slowly advanced into the medullary canal with the air pulse. The air pulse and the driving cap are removed. The aiming arm for proximal locking is screwed on. For the extraction of the UFN, the end cap is removed. The extraction screw is screwed into the nail and tightened. The locking bolts are removed and the air pulse is mounted. The nail is then extracted with gentle, well-regulated impulses. Part B, the air pulse used with the UTN. Again, the medullary canal is opened as usual. The insertion handle is attached not with the usual connecting screw, but by mounting and fixing the special connecting screw, which can be connected to the air pulse. Then the UTN is slowly advanced into the medullary canal with the air pulse. For the extraction of the UTN, the end cap is removed. The coupling block for extraction is attached with the special connecting screw and tightened, and the locking bolts are removed. The air pulse is applied and the UTN is removed with gentle impulses.
As before every medullary nailing, in particular in the femur, the following factors must be carefully evaluated. The width of the medullary canal, the fracture type, a possible pulmonary contusion, and the general severity of injury. Intramedullary pressure measurings have shown that the same rules apply to the air pulse as to any other medullary nailing technique. The nail must always be inserted slowly. If the insertion is performed carefully, there is no significant increase in pressure inside the medullary canal. In accordance with this, only a minimum number of infiltrations is visualized with the echocardiograph. When forceful pressure is applied to the air pulse, however, this results in the fast advancement of the nail along the medullary canal and an increase of infiltrations. But when the air pulse is used with care, it allows gentle insertion of medullary nails with minimum risk of embolization of the local vascular system and minimum general infiltration of particles from the medullary canal. Thanks to its limited impulses, it's also easy on the nearby joints.